ABCD lie on a circle with center O B D is the diameter of the circle and P A T is the tangent to the circle at A. Angle A B D is given to you 62 degrees. Angle C C D B is 28 degrees. Find angle A C D A D B D A T C A O. So let's do it. First, we have this. So for finding the angle A C D, so which angle it is indicating A C D is this triangle and this is the angle which they are asking. So let us find out angle ACD. So for that what is the similarity we can see in this figure. It's just very quick you should just see and answer the question. Like it should be very quick in your mind. So can you see that this angle and this angle lie in the same segment. Right. So it is this is also 62 degrees that means angle so a bit that means angle a b d right angle a b d is equal to angle a c d which is equal to 62 degrees by what? they are angles in the same segment easy for you that's that's very easy okay they are angles in the same segment now next b bit angle a d b so we need to find angle a d b here so which is the angle a d b they are pointing it out a d b so is this the angle they are talking about yes so now how are we going to find out angle adb so from the figure only can you s they have already told that o is the center and bd is the diameter so you know that uh, this triangle uh, this is a triangle in a semicircle that means this angle is 90 degrees right so we have angle B A D as 90 degrees correct because it is an angle in a in angle in a semicircle so now this is 90 degrees this is 62 degrees so this is very easy for us to find out because we are taking the triangle we are taking the triangle A B D A B D in triangle A B D what do we have and the sum of angles in a triangle should be 180 degrees so we have angle angle d a b plus angle a b d a b d plus angle b d a should be equal to 180 degrees right angle uh, sum of angles in a triangle should be 180 degrees now what is our angle DAB? DAB is 90 degrees plus what is angle ABD that is 62 degrees already given. We need to find out angle BDA. Angle BDA or ADB is one and the same is equal to 180 degrees. So what do we get here? Angle BD. A is equal to 180 minus 90 minus 62 degrees right so your angle BDA or ADB is one and the same so what it is 28 degrees right so we'll just mark it here 20 28 degrees okay fine now what is the next angle angle d a t c bit so what are we going to do for angle d a t this is the angle d a t this is the angle they are talking about this angle right till this horizontal line d a t so now what you can relate from this can you just think of something this is a tangent this is a chord can you just relate to any theorem with this <clears throat> if you have a tangent if you have a chord or something so what can you say with this 
can you just say can you just relate it to alternate segment theorem yeah that is the angle between a tangent and a chord is equal to the angle in the alternate segment this is also alternate. this is also alternate so this angle is equal to 62 degrees with alternate segment theorem right so this is your c but angle d a t is equal to 62 degrees with alternate segment alternate segment theorem right now what is d bit angle c a o right so let us see what is angle c a o d bit angle c a o okay now for c a o is which angle they are asking c a o is this the angle they are talking about c a o this is the angle we need to find out so when you need this angle what are you what do you think what comes into your mind which triangle which what thing can you relate this is c a o so can you take this triangle a c d you have this angle you have this angle and you can find out this this angle angle a right after finding angle a we can find out this angle and then we can subtract it so we can get the uh, we can get the answer we can get our final answer so what are we going to do first is so to find angle c a o so this is the angle we need to find out now let us see which triangle we can take a c d and in this triangle you have 62 degrees you have these two 28 plus 28 is how much it is 56 degrees right so your angle d is 56 degrees and you have you have to find out angle a so and the sum of angles in a triangle is 180 degrees so what can you write 62 degrees plus 56 degrees plus angle d a c or c a d whatever it is c a d is equal to 180 degrees so you get your angle c a d is equal to 180 minus 62 minus 56 how much is that 180 minus 180 180 minus 62 minus 56 is 62 degrees so your answer is 62 degrees what which angle we have find out c a c a uh, sorry c a d this is our angle c a d c a d so this is our angle which we have found 62 degrees okay now we have to find out this angle which angle this angle this angle so that we can subtract from this and we get the answer so can we take this triangle a o d right o a is the o a is the radius o d is the radius so you can relate that these two are equal o a is equal to o d <coughs> so the is it is an isosceles triangle so the base angles will be same so this is also 28 degrees correct so you got this angle 28 degrees also you can find this angle can you tell me how this is not in the question but still i'm telling you angle at the center is twice the angle subtended at the circumference that is 62 into 2 will give you how much 62 into 2 is 124 degrees so you found out 124 degrees and sum of angles in a triangle should give you 180 so 124 plus 28 plus 28 should give you 180 so you can verify also whether it is correct or not this is an isosceles triangle base angles are same so we got 28 degrees now for angle c a c a o 
also for angle CAO is equal to angle DAC or angle CAD CAD minus angle CAD minus angle OAD minus angle OAD right angle CAO is equal to CAD minus OAD what is CAD 62 degrees right 62 degrees minus angle OAD is 28 degrees so minus 28 degrees 62 minus 28 will give you 34 degrees right so this is your answer you have found all the angles this is the angle 34 degrees right okay thank you so much subscribe to my channel for more questions like this and if you have any doubts you can just write it in the comment section thank you so much